in our lives. But the exodus out of faith in this country leads to more people saying that they are spiritual, not religious, than saying they are atheists. I think one reason is that a lot of people have had their own moment on the beach, an experience so powerful that skeptical language can't describe it. Our brains seem to be wired to appreciate the luminous. But while skepticism has offered an essential critique of religion at its worst, it doesn't answer the human need for purpose and connection the way faith does. So, uh, now you may recall a couple weeks ago, you know, uh, I, in talking about happiness and what it means, um, and I talked about researchers who had studied this, and they found that the people who were the happiest on the planet were people who had a sense of connection with their own environment, their community, uh, that was really where the source of most happiness came from. So yes, we're hardwired for that. And uh, I know, well, for me, at an early age, I was aware of these things. I was aware of presences and, uh, you know, uh, these experiences in a less concrete way. I mean, I didn't have uh, a, you know, moment where, you know, an angel came to me or anything like that. But it's just a sense of, of knowingness. That, that's the best way I can put it, knowingness. It's not a belief, you know. It's not something I have to prove. It's not something I can prove or I have any desire to. Uh, it's just a knowing. Uh, and that sense of knowing you know, knowing beyond, um, knowing beyond knowledge, I guess is, is uh, the way you could put it. Um, that's spirituality. That's what it means to be spiritual and not religious. That sense of connection, that sense of understanding somehow. Uh, you know, I think the Bible has a phrase, the Christian Bible uh, has a phrase, uh, uh, faith or belief uh, that surpasses understanding. And what what that phrase is, is, is talking about is, is understanding on the sort of uh, material, mundane, um, empirical uh, point of view. But that knowledge is something that goes far beyond that way of thinking. And that's because we created this uh, way of thinking. We've created this uh, system and there's a uh, part of us that remembers that that none of this is really real. Uh, and those breakthrough moments when you reconnect with that or you just step away and remember, those are your mystical experiences. Those are your spiritual experiences. So, I'm willing to bet that people who are uh, gravitating to listen to this show or other shows like it have had similar experiences. I'd love to hear them. If you want to share them, I'd love to hear them. Uh, catch me at Spreaker.com or also on Facebook. That is a